Bottom of the 15th. And Muncy lead it off. Nathan Evaldi goes back out to work. Down the line and right at the track. It is foul. <laughs> Muncie was going down the line, pleading with it, just watching as he hooked it, home run distance. But on the right side of the foul ball. Wow. And now Alex Cora is going to come into the of ending this one. Red Sox leading two games to none. Here's a 3-2. Struck him out. 2-2 two -two game bottom of the 18th inning. Nathan Evaldi has been terrific. Wonderful. Brilliant. Here's Max Muncy. Muncy flies one in the air to left center. Back at the wall, and it's gone! It's over! Muncy, a walk-off home run to win game three in the 18th. Night, night. The most unlikely story of the Major League Baseball season, Max Muncy, let go by the A's a couple of seasons ago, went to work with his dad to reconfigure his swing. Had a good year in the minor leagues last year with the Dodgers, but they didn't think enough of his season to activate him for the postseason, so he watched with everybody else. Started the season in the minor leagues. And he just gave the Dodgers the biggest swing of his life at the end of a 35 home run season. And tonight, at the end of a seven hour, 20 minute game, the Red Sox lead this series two games to one. That's unbelievable. And I said that adrenaline rush was going to be had by somebody. And now the Dodgers not only feel like this game and the patience again the patience of the Dodgers you got to think that they feel really really good about the twist and turn now in the series with all that had to have happen for the Red Sox what a game on a chilly evening able to get it out of here the other way and in the 18th inning over seven hours after it began Max Muncy is the hero. What a night. What an early morning. Let's go down to Ken Rosenthal. Joe, thanks a lot. Max, this game took over seven hours, 18 innings. When you strode to the plate for that final at bat, what's going through your mind? I just wanted to have another good at bat. Um, I felt really good off in the first two at bats. I felt like I've seen him well. Uh, you know, he's, he, was, he pitched lights out he was unbelievable he was uh, he was spotting everything he wanted and he was getting us all over the place but uh, you know I was feeling good about my bats and I was feeling good about that one got up 3-0 he, he fought back and uh, he kind of went the same sequence as the bat before he tried to go back to our cutter so uh, I guess it's refreshing at this point <laughs> Yeah, although it's kind of waking me up. I don't want to do that right now. I want to go to sleep. It's a long game. Max, the 15th. It looked like you hit one out there. What did you think? Did you think it was going to go fair? I thought I had it. I really thought I had it, but uh, 
just barely got foul, and uh, then he made a good pitch. Like I said, he went to the back door cutter. Um, that's kind of defeating at that point, but I was able to get up there and get another shot. I know it's probably hard to think right now, but you're down two to one. They've used their pitching staff an awful lot. How do you like your chances the rest of this series? I feel good. You know, we got Richie going tomorrow. We got Dick Mountain. He's a, uh, you know, he's he's been great the last couple starts, and I got a feeling he's going to be unbelievable tomorrow. And uh, looking forward to it. How does Max Muncie go from being released by the Oakland A's at the end of spring training in 2017 to this? Everyone has a different path, um, and I think that it, it's uh, there's something with Max, and I've talked to him about how much more mature he's become going through that experience. Um, later, Bloomer in the sense of opportunity, but he's a college kid, Baylor, he's intelligent, he's tough. He really understands who he is as a baseball player. Um, and this is an opportunity that he's created for himself and uh, all the credit goes to him to, to take it and run. And he, he's gotten a lot of big hits for us. And he just missed a homer earlier, you know, on the breaker. Um, but to continue to go out there and play first and stick him at second base in the double switch and um, to take a backdoor cutter the other way, it, it's a great story. It, it really is.